Hi there, and welcome to another video in this series of the Dunder Mifflin IT department. As you may know, I'm a huge fan of The Office, and with that, I have created a demo environment which I can use to explain Microsoft 365 and Azure technology via the Office or the Dunder Mifflin IT department. In today's session, we are going to cover how you can create organizational structures to be viewed in Microsoft Teams, as you can see on the screen right now. So that is, in fact, what we are going to build. Um, now, hopefully you will find this video useful. If you have any questions, please make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have not done so already, subscribe to my channel if you want to be updated on new episodes in the series of the Dunder Mifflin IT department. My name is Alex. I am based in the Netherlands and I am a Microsoft trainer. Hopefully I can get you enthusiastic about working with Microsoft Azure Active Directory, Teams Exchange, and also the, uh, the other features that you can find in Azure data centers. Um, so without further ado, Let's get into the way that we can create those nice overviews on how an organizational structure works. Now, there is different ways to set these things up. Um, important, obviously, is that you have access to your Azure Active Directory as an administrator. Here you can actually see my Azure Active Directory environment. It's all based on the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Everything related to users, groups, everything related to identity is now part of Microsoft Entra. Here in my Dunder Mifflin demo, I have created all kinds of user objects. And one of the users in this organization is the one that you saw on the thumbnail of this video, which is Jan Levinson. Jan is the regional manager, the North East Regional Manager for the uh, for Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. She has a couple of regional managers in her management team. One of them is Michael Scott, obviously the most important regional member, member uh, regional manager of Dunder Mifflin in the Scranton office. Now, also Dunder Mifflin has more than one office, and one of the other offices is in Stanford, and the manager there is Josh Porter. So in this environment, I created the Josh Porter user object. Um, and one of the things that I want to do, if I want that user to be part of this environment, I need to tell that Josh Porter has at some point a manager. Now, Jan Levinson, Vice President of the Northeast Region, is manager now for Michael Scott, who is a regional manager, and Toby Flanderson, who is an HR rep. Um, now, I want to add Josh Porter in this view. So what I need to do is I need to go into that users object, edit the users properties, and actually it's quite simple. The only thing that I need to select here is the appropriate manager. So in this case, I will select Jan Levinson as the manager for Josh Porter, save this. And because of that link between Jan and Josh and the direct connection with the manager value, you will now notice that that value will be taken into account. And just like that, I also did everything with all the other users here. For example, you have Creed, Creed Breton, and if we check out Creed here, then we'll notice that um, Creed indeed has a manager which is called Michael Scott, for example. So just like that, you will just import all those views. You can just go and, and scroll a little bit further around, and now we can see that Josh Porter is now mentioned as one of the users, one of the people in the team of Jan Levinson. And just like that, you can also go and select any other manager and you can see who is directly reporting to those managers here. So for every user, you can go in and check 
where they are, what the roles are in the organization. And this is how you can enable that organization management within Azure Active Directory. You don't, you don't even need to work too hard for that. The only thing that you would need to do here is to make sure that your users have been assigned with a manager. The easy way is to go with Azure Active Directory. You can also do this from the Exchange Administrative Portal, but why would you if the same functionality is straight in that Entra Portal? And that is exactly how to do this. So if you found this video useful, then please hit that like button. Um, and also if you have any requests, so if there's any Microsoft 365 Azure related topics that you want me to explain, then please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to record those videos for you too. So thank you for watching. My name is Alex. Hopefully we see each other next time in the Dundermiffin IT department series. Goodbye and have a great day.